Hi, welcome to today's CAD lesson. In today's exercise, we would model this tie. Please consider subscribing if you're yet to do that. Also, do want to like this video if you get some value out of it. If you would have any comments, questions, or concerns at the end, you can leave them down in the comment section below. I would address them as soon as I can. Let's begin with today's exercise. Let's open our worksheet to begin this model. There's a new up here. This is going to be in millimeters. And so under part create 2D and 3D object, standard MMIPT, under the metric template, and we would create. We would now create the 2D profile we want to revolve and the axis we would revolve around to form the tile. And so let's pick the 2D sketch command up here and work on the XY plane. Now we'll pick the line command. Let's draw a line here. You can right click and then OK. Let's even dimension the length of this line as 26.54. We would enter that. Now we would put a coincident relationship to say that place the center of this line at the origin. Let's right click and then OK. Now we'll select this line and make it a center line. Let me pan down. Let's pick the point command. Let's place a point anywhere here. We can right click and then OK to get off the point command. Now we would dimension the distance between the point here and this center line. That gives us the diameter is going to be 23.94. Let's multiply that by 2 so we get the diameter and press enter. Now the horizontal distance between this point and the origin is 7.43. Let's pan down. Now from this point here, we will begin to create a sketch. So we'll pick the line command from that point. Let's move horizontal to a distance of 4.06 we would move perpendicular to that to a distance of 2.03 and then we would move perpendicular to that again by making sure that we are aligned with the point here where the center line ended so let's pick that reference and then we would move up. I think there we are. We'll go up again to a distance of 3.18 and enter. You can right click and then OK. Let's just dimension this line to constrain the sketch. And so we'll go with whatever dimension we get, which is 1.78 and check that. All right, now let's pick the line command. Let's draw a line here from the origin vertically. This much is fine, but for this line, we'll make it a constructional line. We are going to use this line to mirror this sketch we've done here. And so the mirror command, the profiles we want to mirror are this one, hold down the control key, we'll select this, that, and that for the mirror line is going to be the line we just placed. Let's apply and close this. Now let's pan down. We will pick the arc command. Let's connect this point to this point right here. Let's give that a radius of 31.38. Use the dynamic input box and press enter. You can right click and then OK. Now we would offset the profile up here to a distance of 1 mm. We would enter that as well. Pick the line command, let's connect this point to this point here. And we'll do same for the opposite side to close the profile up. Now we are ready to revolve into the revolve command. But before that, let's finish this sketch. Double click the scroll mouse button so you get your work in focus. We would revolve. The profile to revolve has been correctly selected. The center line is going to be the axis that has also been selected. The preview looks fine and so we can OK. Next, we would introduce a plane. And so let's look for one of the default planes to work on. It is going to be the XY plane. 
and so we'll select that and create a sketch on that plane. Let's pan down a little. Now we can slice and so the slice graphics down here just so we can see the plane. Let's offset. We want to offset. Let me zoom in a little this line but before that we have to project it and so the project geometry command we would select that line and then pick the offset command now let's offset this line in to a distance of 0 0.7 and let's enter that but we want to continue this arc a little and so let's right click and then ok to get off the offset command just locate the point where that arc starts it is right here just click and then you can drag it further. We'll do same for the opposite side, just a little. And let's apply the horizontal constraints between the two ends of the app. You can right click and then OK. Now we can finish this sketch. So we revolve. Let's make sure you turn on the surface mode. And then for the profile to revolve, we would select the app we just placed. The axis, we want to go around the X axis. There we have a preview. It should go around a 360 degree angle until so we would OK. So now we pick one of the default planes again. We can work with the XZ plane, but we want to offset that to a distance of about 36.7. We'll check that. Now on this plane, let's create a sketch. Let me turn this around and even zoom in a little let's now project some lines and so project geometry command we would project this line and then also that next we will pick the arc command let's just pick any point here and we will connect it to the line we projected let's give that a radius this much is okay we'll do same for the opposite side but that is a little bit smaller in terms of radius than the first one we drew. Let's apply a fillet. And so the fillet command, the fillet radius is one to these two arcs. You can right click and then OK. We would also offset the profile we've just drawn to one mm and enter that. OK, let's pick the line command. Let's connect this point to that one do same for the opposite side now we can trim off the excesses and so the trim command let's select this excess as well as that one you can dimension this if you want but let's just move on and to so finish the sketch now we can extrude and so the extrude command the profile has been rightly selected but the distance we will choose the one that says two we want to define that with the surface extrusion we did which is this one so i'll select that but it's going to be a cut the preview of that looks fine and so we can okay let's see what we have all right you can turn off the visibility of the work plane and also the visibility of the revolution here, this very one revolution is RF1. Now let's create multiples of this along the surface of this tire. For that, we'll use the circular pattern command and so select that up here. The feature we want to create circular pattern of is going to be this very one. I have selected that. For the rotational axis, we can go around the X axis. And for the instances or occurrences, we want about 16 of them equally spaced around a 360 degree angle and so we okay now we want to mirror this on the opposite side and so the mirror command the features we want to mirror we can select that is going to be the extrusion one hold down control key select the circular pattern we just did for the mirror plane we can use the xy plane no let's do the xz no yz i think yes and we can okay all right so there we have it let's now change the appearance and so we'll drop down the appearance options i'm going to do the black cast for the entire body 
and then for the extrusion one we we'll hold down the shift key and select the mirror one i'm going to change that to canary i think is fine let's see how that looks it looks great and for this inner surface um let's do well to select that okay there we go we can also give it the same canary color all right this looks fine and so i'll go ahead and do the basic rendering we would include some shadows and reflection as well let me also add a ground plane and then i would change the lightning effect to photo booth let's inspect one last time All right, and so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please consider subscribing to this channel. Also do well to like this video. Let's help the algorithm notice it and push it out to a lot more people. If you would have any comments, questions, or concerns as well, you can leave them down in the comment section below. I would address them as soon as I can. Don't forget to save this and share this with your card friends. I'll see you soon with the next tutorial. Bye.